Hey guys, this is Tina Monk, the author of the Soap Making Handbook Volume 1 and the creator of the eCourse Masterclass Advanced Soap Formulations. They are available at my website, naturalsudsandmore.com. And also the links are in my Facebook group, in the files, Soap Making and Business Coaching. We have almost 24,000 people, actually over 24,000 people in the group now. Uh, if you have not joined, we would love to have you. Now today in this video, I am just going to go over uh, my new brand that I'm working on and I want to tell you about it so that you know what's going on and what to expect in the coming videos. Also, um, I'm not quite sure about my Natural Suds and More brand, if that's going to continue or not right now at this point. I've had a lot of changes last um, in the last year. Um, one of the biggest changes was that uh, the big outdoor market that I do, Market on Central, downtown Fort Dodge, Iowa, has changed completely. I've done that for the past five years, and it was always Saturday mornings, which worked really, really well for my schedule. Uh, but for some reason this year, they changed it to Thursday nights. Evidently, they have a better crowd that night, or so they say. So, Thursday nights do not work for my schedule. So, I had to rethink things a lot because that market was uh, pretty much my biggest selling event that I do throughout the whole year. It's a, well, it's four months and it was two Saturdays for four months long. And I loved it. It was great. <laughs> but uh, since that change happened, I have to uh, do something different. And um, if you know me a little bit, you know that I do a lot of Comic Cons. Like I go to Comic Cons. And I have never um, really done what I'm doing right now that I'll tell you about. So it um, it was it never really hit me that this is this is where this is going to go until uh, recently. And people kept asking me why don't you sell soap at Comic Cons? And my response was, you know, like I go, I like to have fun. I don't like I didn't want to make it about soap or work or anything like that. But <laughs> since this change with my the market, um, at the last Comic Con we went to, we went to the Kansas City um, Planet Comic Con in February, and, and like the next day, um, I just woke up with all these ideas, and it just like it just flooded me, and I just started writing and just thinking, and it, I was like, this is how I have to do it. Now, if you're not familiar with cosplay, I'm going to explain this to you. Because uh, I was never really into wearing the costumes. I was never into, you know, any of that. Like, that just wasn't me. That wasn't <laughs> where I thought I was going to end up and, you know, this is not what I thought I was going to do. So, um, if you're not familiar with cosplay at all, it basically is costume play that's where you get cosplay from. If you've ever been to a Comic Con, you'll see a lot of cosplayers there. They're dressed in a costume, they have prints for sale, and um, some of them, they all kind of do things a little bit different. But uh, I figured, when I woke up with this idea of creating a character and creating a new soap brand, so this is what I'm doing, and I created the char character called Soper Babe, and this is strictly for marketing, uh, just to the Comic Con uh, people, the you know people that like comics, the people that go to the Comic Cons, and you know men in general is my t the target market for this new soap brand. So it's not going to be for everybody, and I always encourage people to be you and to do something that you know just brings out you in your creativity and all of you. And I am also a pencil artist as well. So I think that this is completely perfect for me. Even though, you know, a few months ago this idea was not even in my head. And so I, you know, I want to be the person that inspires you, that encourage you to, encourages you to think outside the box. And, you know, one of the things I like to say is think so far outside the box that you break it and you can never go back in it. So that's what I am doing for myself. I'm being me. I'm putting all of me into this. And 
cosplay is just another avenue of art. You get to create characters, you get to build your costumes, you get to do um, a little bit of acting, you get to, you know, because cosplay is you create the costume and then you become the character. So that, um, and I'll put up some pictures of what I'm working on right now. So not only will I have Soper Babe, um, she will be appearing in new videos for soap making as well. Because my whole idea here is, you know, I want to be able to inspire and encourage you to do things differently, to be you. Um, so what I'm going to be doing for this new brand is Soper Babe will be my main character. Um, but cosplay total in total is um, the cosplayers do a bunch of different characters, do a bunch of different costumes do a bunch of different photo shoots in those costumes. And one of the, the, you know, the things that I really, really like about the cosplay is just the artistry of it, the creativity of it. It's just another avenue for me to express my art. And that's what I really, really love about this is that I get to create more. I get to do more. And, you know, it's, it's been so much fun. Like, I can't even tell you how much fun this has been. And, and I feel like this is me. I feel like this is the direction that I need to be going in. And I'm like so excited about doing this, you guys. So I hope that you want to follow me along in this journey. I do have a new Facebook page, Soper Babe. Um, if you can't find it yet, because I just started it, it will... Um, I have links on my Tina Monk Facebook page. And also, uh, you can just at Soper Babe for Instagram. That is going to be my main account that I'm working on building up. Um, if you'd like to follow that, I would appreciate it greatly because one of the big things about cosplay is the social media following. And the cosplayers get invited to Comic Cons as a guest. And if their social media following is higher than um, they're more likely to get invited to be a guest at the Comic Cons. You know, but for now, I am just going to, you know, pay to be a vendor and, you know, go that route for now. But I still have a lot of work to do before this brand is ready um, to be at the conventions. So what I'm going to be doing this year is working on that, working on the different soaps that, um, because my idea is to, some of the soaps that I have for my Natural Suds and More brand are going to be rebranded into the Soper Bay brand. Some of my best-selling ones. And what I'm going to be doing is actually making costumes that go with those soaps. And I'm also going to be doing pencil drawings and photo shoots for, you know, those costumes. So people can get, you know, the whole artistry package, they'll be able to get you know, a print of me in the costume, they'll be able to get an artwork and the, get the soap that matches. So just for instance, like, I have a soap that's called Into the Woods. It's a bunch of different essential oils from, you know, like woodsy ones. So I am going to be doing like a woodland fairy costume. And I already kind of know what I want and um, for that. And the Soper Babe, since she's gold and purple, I will be doing a golden purple soap that goes with that. And I also am going to be doing, um, I've been doing, the Black Cat, which she is a Marvel character that is not very well known. She is Spider-Man's ex-girlfriend. So, <laughs> I actually want to do like a Black Cat soap. And just, you know, and the, the thing about this you know, in the soaps is that you don't want to do any copyright infringement. So my soaps are not going to be any, they're not going to be named the character. They're not going to, you know, have any of the logos, you know, nothing like that. Um, it's just going to be like a black cat, you know. Um, I'm going to be working with soap dough and I'm going to be doing um, different things along that line. I want these soaps to be completely different and to be, you know, stand out more so I'm going to be like you know letting my creativity fly and I'm going to be doing all kinds of things with this new soap brand so I'm really excited about that and I also will be um, working um, on new patreon stuff 
if you are not a patron, I would really appreciate it. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Tina Monk. So I will be making new videos um, for that to incorporate the cosplay. Most of the cosplayers have Patreon or um, something called Ko-Fi, which is basically an online tip jar. So there's all different types of things, um, you know, that people can do to help and reach out because I want to be able to do more for you, to be able to show you more, to be able to inspire you more, to show you more creativity, to help you think outside the box, you know, and, um, and, you know, and to be you, to be, you know, let your creative self just be out there, you know, and, you know, greatness happens when you step outside your comfort zone and you all have greatness in you and you have gifts that the world needs to see. And I feel like for right now that I am finally doing that completely, like putting my art out there, which is something that I have not done before. Um, so yes, I'm really, really excited about this and uh, Soper Babe will be appearing in new videos and I'm just, if you have questions, if you have comments, um, I know because cosplay and comic cons aren't for everybody. Um, but I did create the Soper Babe character and I will be incorporating her into the soap videos and, you know, into the cosplay soap brand. So I have a lot going on this year and it's, I would really love, um, to help you out as much as I possibly can. So, you know, that's why I'm sharing what I'm doing. You know, I saw somebody ask in my Facebook group recently, you know, how do we go after different areas? Like, you know, could we go after, you know, things like the Comic Cons? Could we go after, you know, big events? Um, like roller derby people. I mean, you just, what, if you have something that you love, you know, if you can create that and, you know, bring it together into a very specific target market, a very specific niche, you know, that's what you want to do. And, you know, and I want to, you know, help you, you know, however I can and however I best can serve you, that's what I'm going to be doing here. So, um, I don't want to keep rambling on here, but I'm just so excited about this. And I wanted to let you know that there will be new soaps coming that are going to be with my characters. And I am hopefully going to be appearing at Comic Cons soon. It will probably um, as a vendor it won't be for a couple months there is the Des Moines Comic Con coming up the beginning of June which I will be going as the black cat and um, I do have I'm working on the black widow costume as well so if you've seen the movies you know um, if you like if you like that kind of stuff um, even if you don't really like the cosplay stuff you want to if you want to just follow it because um, marketing ideas because that's why I'm doing this is for marketing so, um, you know, whatever I can do to help you, to give you ideas, to inspire you, to encourage you, that's what I want to do. So, um, look forward to um, some new videos coming, and I can't wait to show you all of my ideas, because I have a ton of them. My brain is just going like crazy with ideas for this, so I know I'm in the right direction for me. And, you know, don't worry, I'm still going to be doing all kinds of soap videos, and still going to be in my soap Facebook group. You know, um, still doing all of that stuff, still working on uh, ebooks that are going to be coming out to help you. So I'm still doing all of that. I'm just taking my soap business in a different direction. Okay, so um, yeah, if you have any comments or questions or anything, um, let me know. I do want to go over um, just some stuff that I'm going to be working on because cosplay is a whole different set of skills that I am going to be needing to acquire. Um, this right here is something that they call warbla and what it is is a thermo plastic you can heat it up and you can mold it and this is one of the things that cosplayers use to build their armor so not only do i have a soper babe corset costume i am also going to be building a armored soper babe and what they use is um, things like foam craft foam ava foam and the the warbla so if you, I just wanted to show you, so if you don't have any idea what this is, let me see if I can get 
this up here. This is actually from the Costume Making Guide, and her name is Svetlana Quint, and she is at Kamai Cosplay on Instagram. Can get that up there. But this is one of the ones that she built. So I am going to be working on all kinds of things, all different types of costumes, all different types of builds. I'm just letting my imagination run wild with this. So super excited about this and I will see you, or Silver Babe will see you in the next video.